What's up Thrivers, Ascended One here, I hope all of you guys are having an awesome day. So guys, this is a video that I've been wanting to upload for a long time and this is something I've been wanting to learn for a long time and that is how to tame the rock golem. So guys, this is the stage right here, we got a beautiful sunset on Ragnarok, I have made a slot cap of cannonballs and I'm ready to go and I'm looking for some rock golems here. I got a dimple on the Giga going around killing all killing all of the low level golems trying to spawn that high level one and so we're out there looking around looking and then boom this mysterious in-game woman sandy cheeks comes and says guys i know all the secrets J just give me one second goes back to the crafting station crafts a bunch of walls and dino gates and we are ready to go so right here we are just flying over and we found i think a 150 and a 145 and we are absolutely pumped about that now guys I am a little bit sorry because I thought I had already uploaded the video on the mantis farm to get the kibble for the rock golems because that is definitely the hardest part to taming a rock golem is getting all of that mantis kibble so I promise you guys within the next video two or three I will get that that get that mantis farm video up 100% uh, 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 all right guys so right here all you need is three foundations wide with a or two what is it two foundations wide with six I think it's six pillars high and then a few walls and ceilings and uh, and my boy Ryman is gonna show us how it's done right now now I just want to say big shout out to Ryman because I promised him I would have had this video up uh, video up a couple of days ago but you guys know how it is the trolling I'm raising a bunch of dragons I just get I get I get really busy out there but I'm doing my best right here so we just have a simple spot here in the front to have the golem trapped with a couple of dino gates here and then we are ready to go and the key to all this guys is definitely patience and just kind of the, it's kind of the tortoise in the hair. Just take your time and get the job done. And you definitely always want to wait till it is a times two taming because I think you can tame like a 150 for 35 kibble or something close. And then so on singles that's 70 kibble. And honestly, there is no point in doing it on singles. There are enough times two taming events. And honestly, if you can double the amount of rock golems, you are going to get also, it's half the time. But not that it's really bad because I think on um, on singles, it's about an hour to tame and on times two, it's only half an hour with the kibble. Or you can sit there with stone for like 356 million years and get the job done. But honestly guys, the golems are absolutely fantastic because their freaking torpor timer is like four hours. So if you, have kibble all you have to do is basically just drop it put the kibble on and come back and you are good to go and another big bonus about taming a rock golem is that nothing aggros to the rock golem so you can just drop them in place boom you are good to go so right here we got the cannon set up in front and this is the simplest operation i have ever seen um all i have to do is stand there in front of the rock golem to get it to aggro through th aggro through the window, boom, you are good to go. So don't get too close or it's gonna give you a pimp smack <laughs> across the way, but you're just gonna sit there, you are gonna get it all set up for the cannon, for the cannon man, or woman in this case, or man, because it's Ryan man. Okay, I'm getting confused here. <laughs> but I think you can get um three three good cannon shots before it throws a rock. So you're just gonna go bam 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 wait for it to throw a rock and guys take a look at this I mean you are not wasting one cannonball here this is a perfect trap it's cheap I would definitely recommend setting up multiple traps around the map for sure because there are a ton of golem spawns as well guys I would always recommend taming the rock golems on uh, Ragnarok they just seem to spawn higher levels all the time you want to be finding your wyvern eggs on Ragnarok there's a lot of high level stuff on Ragnarok, 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 Ragnarok. Okay, got that out of the way. All right, so here I think we're just about a couple cannonballs away, and guys, take a look at this. This golem 
is absolutely trapped. Um, the, the rocks are going over top, but they are kind of bouncing off the top of that ceiling, and boom, that golem is knocked out. Call that a KO. Flawless victory. <laughs> so we're going to knock it out here. Let's take a look at the stats here. Uh, I think it dropped with, uh, what is it, like 30k health or something? I don't even know. I, forgive me, guys. The screen's a little small over here. But once again here, you're just going to load it up. And, okay. That one, let's pretend we didn't see that because that thing just destroyed my cane in one shot. Absolutely ridiculous. So with this trap, guys, just always build a little top part. You could probably build a couple ceilings, but I, but we kind of chose for the pillar and ceiling effect, and I like it. So right here, guys, this is the finished trap. The rocks will always smash over top of his head, and I mean, this is perfect. There's absolutely no harm here. Your, your freaking cannons are safe 100% of the time. And one thing I got to say about the cannons is that I thought the uh, durability of the cannon dropped every cannonball that you shot, but that is not the case. As long as that cannon does not get hit by a rock or something, it is never going to break. So you can really tame as many golems as you want. And like I said, if it is a times two taming weekend, it's like, boom, I think I got five or six this weekend on top of doing everything. Honestly, if I had some more kibble, I would have tamed a lot more. But now I have like 30 or 40 man, 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 30 or 40 mantises now and we are getting that stuff stockpiled so this is the golem that I love so much because it popped with uh, 30k health on the down I wish it finished at 30k health but obviously that's not the case um, they, they drop health but the melee raises which is actually pretty cool so this thing stood with like 14,800 health I would consider anything over 15,000k health on a golem in that god tier now this is the one I wanted to cologne actually but i was informed by my tribe that if you can get one to stand with like 17k plus that's really the perfect golem and so I, i'm just going to keep taming as much as i can because honestly i've seen these things they are so effective in battle and with the right traps and mantis farm they're really not that hard to tame at all and i'm really falling in love with uh trolling and i honestly guys i really want to soak a couple of death walls with like a Deodon and a Rock Golem. I haven't done it yet, but I got the Rock Golems. Like I leveled them up a little bit, but I can't wait to show you guys, hopefully those videos in the future. So wish me luck. So so um, right here, guys, I'm on the Darth Maul freaking Wyvern. I love that thing. Big shout out to Man Bear on, on, on that one. And here is one of our other Golem traps. We got another one. And here, guys, this is me. I think I was there, there was like Three hours left in the taming event I'm like I'm gonna go out and solo this I think right 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 has shown me what I need to know for sure so I found I think a 145 and a 135 and you know I'm basically gonna tame anything 130 plus I think that's gonna be all right um, you're definitely probably not gonna get that god tier health on the 130 but honestly in certain spots against bases they are they are they're gonna do just fine if you have a good saddle. I think right now I got a Mastercraft blueprint, so I'm really pumped about that. And you can find those uh, those saddle blueprints, I'm pretty sure, on Ragnarok. And so right here, guys, just old school kiting over to the trap now. Doing this, guys, I'm not gonna make, I, I'm not gonna lie. I had a little bit of P, PVE flashback here because this is how you 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 like used to attack people is bring golems to people's bases. All oh, absolutely hilarious, but definitely a thing of the past. I, I, I now kite, the, kite them to my trap and then bring them to my opponent's base. That's really how it's done around here. So uh, honestly, you got to be a little careful on the Wyverns. I'm imprinted to this one here and it is still taking a lot of health from me. But honestly, if you can just get the golem to the trap, you are going to be good to go 100% of the time. So honestly, guys, I'm feeling pretty good here. I'm solo. I'm going out all... All I grabbed was some cannonballs from the vault, and we are absolutely money here. So, and what, I don't know what happened, guys. I came back to the trap, and the top part of it was destroyed. I don't know if like the whole trap got maybe C4 uh, or something, or someone had to build a new one. But honestly, I seen the rocks. They they were kind of bouncing over top. They hit my dragon there, so I'll have to move that a little bit to the side here. But I'm just gonna get gonna get my cannonballs, gonna get my kibble. Fingers crossed, guys. So this is gonna be my first solo golden tame right here and honestly if i can pull this off 
right here. I'm just going to be stacking so much mana as kibble. I'm just going to have rows and rows of golems, honestly, and they're going to go so big and soaking in defense. They're just always good to have. There's so many variations and capabilities of the rock golem. They can tank a lot. They got pretty good DPS. They can throw rocks for a distance range. I mean, pretty solid all the way here. So here, um, now you can fire the cannonball with pushing down the right joystick on the cannon so you don't have to switch from your inventory to the cannon, inventory to the cannon. You can just stay on the screen at the same time. And here, I'm just trying to get it angled correctly. So I'm trying to get behind the cannon, but it's not working. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to stand in front of the cannon. Shouldn't be a problem here. Fire one. Now I was watching Ryan, 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 <laughs> watching Ryman. He didn't have an easier name to pronounce. <laughs> Right, man. <laughs> um, said you can fire three cannon shots in between each rock throw. So I'm just gonna boom, pop the cannon in, click the button, boom. Wait for the rock. I might have shot him accidentally in the in the body or something when he was when he when he was going here. But once again, guys, just patience. You got the cannonballs. You're not gonna miss a shot. This is absolutely flawless. And honestly, guys, I'm so excited because you know, like wyverns, they take four days to raise. You can do a lot of Rexes, but honestly, if you really want a good soaker, it's going to be the Rock Golems, man. Rock Golems for the win. Unless there's a Giga in front of you, you got to get the F out of there ASAP. But uh, definitely Rock Golems. I can't wait to do lots of variations of attacking with the Rock Golem. So here, I think we're about done here. Come on, Ascended One. Get the job done here. This was exciting, guys. I was shaking a little bit on this one. Like, I was pretty pumped up to get my own rock golem like and I'm gonna be giving once again many of them to the tribe but I'm gonna keep a couple for myself so boom I did it guys one one that was that uh, what that was the 135 I think I already knocked out the 145 so I really guys hope you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the video today hit that thumbs up if you liked it and uh, I'll be back uh, on the next video with another defense video it was super epic so just know that I love you guys and as always don't survive but thrive